Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about all of my favorites from the last month of July. I mean June. I almost forgot what month was last month. We are going to talk about some fashion, a little bit of makeup, a little bit of hair. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I have a vacation coming up at the end of this month going through the first week of August. So me, my three sisters, Kinsey, Bailey, and Brooke, and then my um, older brother's new wife, Jasmine, my stepmom, and me. We're all going together on a beach trip. I think it's to Michigan. I don't really have a lot of details because it's sort of like a surprise trip. We're not supposed to really know exactly where we're going because my stepmom planned it all out. It's gonna be like really, really fun. I'm so excited and I cannot believe she did that. That is like the coolest thing ever. We've never really gone on an all-girls family trip, so this should be really fun. Anyway, I am trying to plan for that figure out what I want to wear um, and I was looking on a dormy and of course you guys know that that's like a place where they sell bras and panties and sleepwear but they also sell swimwear I feel like one piece bikinis are like becoming in again you know I was not planning on ever wearing a one piece like last year for example or the year before that when I went on vacations but this year I feel like one piece is kind of the thing you know so I felt like I needed to get a few of those yeah I was just looking around see what I could find and Adore Me had the cutest stuff I'm actually a member on Adore Me I've been a member on their website for like a year now so every month they always get something new but this month I ordered a few extra things for my vacation so this is the first thing and it's just a one piece white one piece. <laughs> the back is what I loved the most because uh, it's got all of these straps. I love having an open back look like when I get married I am going to have a wedding dress that has an open back probably. I just like kind of envision that for myself. I just love the way that it looks you know because it's like the back is really sexy to me I think in my opinion. I think it's sexier than a lot of other body parts on a on a girl and it's very comfortable like very good quality I feel you know like it's it's pretty thick material so I'm I'm not going to be afraid whatsoever of you know anything showing I, I felt like I needed two so that was three I meant two <laughs> um, so I went ahead and got this as well this is a black one piece open mesh detail so you can see through to the skin and it's got pads which is really really nice so that way I'm not like just sagging down low I can get a little bit of pick-me-up again the back is pretty open which I love I'm gonna feel so confident wearing these oh, I can just already I can envision myself in it already it's like you know how whenever you're shopping online and you just feel something when you look at it on the website and you you just you're, you already can see yourself wearing it that's immediately when I know I have to buy it so these you can wear just on their own like this uh, with short jean shorts or maybe like a, a a-line skirt would be really cute racer back burnout tank on top like a white really loose tank so that way you can still see this pretty beautiful design little bralette corset underneath um, but it's not showing too much skin you know I mean this is just to die for honestly this is, this is so cute it's so pretty they have this one I believe in four different shades but this was my all-time favorite one I just love the mixture of like the mint and the lavender together this is like one of the most popular sets on the website because they have this a uh, little like Instagram feed on their website and I swear I saw like 10 different pictures of girls either taking a picture of this one in particular or wearing the set and it just the way that you know you can style a really cute piece like this is just honestly totally right up my alley when it comes to my type of style. I love how cute and feminine and girly it is. It was nice to be able to see this on other people and you know how they wear it so I kind of have an idea now of what I want to do. The back is the same as the front so it goes down to a V both sides. I can't wait to bring them with me on my vacation. I'll probably take actually some photos on the beach with those bathing suits. So this is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer most used foundation of the month. It's in the shade number seven. I keep saying cream chamois and then I'm getting corrected by you guys telling me that it is chamois. This will literally cover anything, any problem areas you have, any redness, 
What I noticed though is that it is a thicker formula so you really have to be careful with how much you apply but once you get it on there this stuff is going to last all day. I swear I do not notice a difference between when I first apply it and then when I go to take my makeup off by the end of the day. It looks exactly the same. It does not come off. It stays exactly where you put it and yeah it just looks great. I mean very flawless finish. It makes your skin look 10 times better than it does. Seriously this is one of the best foundations I have ever used and what's funny about it is that it's from Clinique and I don't really use any products from Clinique. This is like one of the first ones that I've ever loved this much so very surprising um, but yeah I just I'm so in love with this foundation I use it all the time. Next I'm going to talk about this Ofra Cosmetics Dermatones Color Wheel. So I actually um, got this on their website not too long ago because I was looking for you know some cream type of concealers that I could use as highlighting slash concealing. Um, I just I wanted something that had multiple different shades in it that I could try and work with. Love, 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 love it. I already used, as you can see, a tiny little part right there. I just love that there's different shades that you can choose from, you know, depending on if you're tanner, if you're lighter. This is something you can use all year round. Next up is the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Plus Airbrush Perfecting Powder. This is in the shade medium. This is my most used, although I do have the one in tan, which I like when I'm slightly tanner. But for now, this one has been my most used. And I actually use it for setting the under eyes and my face. It's like that perfect finishing touch to your skin. It makes your foundation, your concealer all just blend in together seamlessly. And I definitely notice if I don't do this. I feel like I need it now in my uh, makeup routine. Like if I don't finish my makeup with this, it's not finished. <laughs> I have kind of moved away from the U Sculpted palette by It Cosmetics um, because I felt like I was using it just way too much and that I needed to try something else. And I, I recently got this one from It Cosmetics. It's called Sunshine in a Compact. It is a matte bronzer and it's pretty much the same color as my favorite shade in the U Sculpted palette. It's like the warm medium shade that's in there. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about if you've seen that palette. I love this because it gives a nice soft beautiful glow to the skin, warms things up, and it just looks so smooth, you know? Like it looks like it's supposed to be there and not like I put it there. Perfect for summer and I can't imagine using anything else now. I'm like obsessed with this. So this is my new bronzer obsession. I just can't not talk about these. These are the Makeup Geek blushes. I have like four of them, but I'd say my most used out of those are this one in Puppy Love, and I also really like the one in Infatuation, which is sort of more like a lighter kind of orangey shade. It's warmer, whereas this one's more cool toned. I have noticed that I'm using them the most out of all of my blushes. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pick this up as not only for an everyday basis kind of look, but also on camera too. I feel like I just, you know, I gotta get more use out of these. They're just so dang good. So recently I started using this again, and this is by uh, Maybelline. It's the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. For a while there, this was just kind of sitting in my makeup collection, and I kept looking at it, and I'm like, oh, I feel so bad, but I just had all these other primers that I really loved using, until what happened was, I ran out of those primers that I loved using. I started like using different things in my makeup collection. I'm like, no, don't like that. No, don't like that. Um, and then I, I came across this one in my makeup collection again. I'm like, why did I ever stop using it? I don't know. So I picked it up, I used it, and I'm in love with it all over again. So yeah, this has been my most used primer. And I love that it doesn't completely suck the life out of my skin. You know, I feel like with a lot of primers, I'm like, I get so dry afterwards after I apply it, even though I use like a really heavy moisturizer. Do you ever get that feeling where it just, it feels so tight on the skin, like you know that this is going to be uncomfortable the whole entire day. But with this, it's totally different. I feel good still. I feel like my skin's hydrated and it just, it's like, it just feels really slimy, <laughs> if that makes sense. <clears throat> it's a good kind of slimy though. For my brows, I've been using these two the most. Um, I just got these in my Benefit Cosmetics PR set that I got in the mail. You guys saw that in my haul video if you watched. And this is this is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and this is the Cabrow. So how I use these is the Goof Proof Pencil first. 
I will go in and line my entire eyebrow with this and shape it out and everything and just kind of do very like light hair like strokes. Then I use my Cabral to just further define everything and make my brow look perfect and I love it. I love that whole routine. I think that it's the best routine I've ever had and it's nice that I only have to use two products to get it. So. That's been my brow routine, and I'm liking it. If you guys want a uh, tutorial, let me know. But yeah, those, these two are so, so good. This is all you need. This is all you need for the perfect brows. I have also been loving my Esquito lashes. I don't have any to show you because I use them all. I'm wearing the last ones right now. But I will list down in the description box the ones that are my favorite from Esquito. And I also have a coupon code for you guys to use as well. So go check that out down below. And then I have all these lip products right here. I've been such a lip product girl the past month. I used to just put like chapstick on my lips and be done with it. You know what I mean? I never used to be this obsessed with lip products before until last month. I don't know what it is. First, I like to go in with a lip pencil, and then sometimes I actually will stop there and not even use anything else because lip pencils are life. These are the Ofra lip liners. I have it in chestnut, which is a darker brown. I use this when I'm doing a nude lip. I'll line just like the outer corners and then go in with my nude lip color. I really like wine also. This one is great as an everyday lip color. You can go over it with any type of berry lipstick or lip stain, and also pink works great with this one. And then I have Spicy, and that's the one that I use today underneath of my uh, liquid lipstick. And I like using this one when I'm doing something that's warmer or like kind of brownish. These liquid lipsticks that I wanted to show you guys, the one that I'm wearing currently right now, because I know you guys are going to ask, is actually... Um, iced Mocha, it's this one right here. It's a Hydra Matte Liquid Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. These are amazing. I love these because they are a lighter kind of formula. If you have like the kind of person that has drier type of lips, this is going to be so perfect for you because it keeps your lips hydrated and it's not too thick. So you're never going to have a build up and it's going to stay all day too. So I love the Gerard Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. I also am loving this one for the past month. It's $19.95. It's very, very similar. It's just, I'd say, a little bit more red than the one I'm wearing today. And then Crush from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Love these liquid lipsticks as well, but this is like my everyday go-to pink. So this doesn't really count as makeup. I'm not really sure where to put this <laughs> in this video, but I just I felt like I had to talk about it. So it's the uh, Zero Tan Lines from Benefit. Hula Zero Tan Lines. It is a um, all over body bronzer. I lost the cap. And then this is a mitt that I got from my spray tans. And I love those, but I ran out. So I've just been using this. And I use it a lot, like pretty much every day. If I ever feel like I just need a quick tan, I do it before every video I film on my channel. I, I just love how quickly bronzed it gets my skin. And it also looks nice too. I mean, it's not like that really nasty orangey color. I think it looks pretty good, like bronzed, like I actually was in the sun for a little bit, you know? It smells good too, so you can just apply this really quickly if you have somewhere to go, and then not worry about like smelling all gross and nasty. I don't feel super sticky either after it dries. It dries really quick, and then I just put my clothes on. I mean, it's so e it really is so easy, so I find myself just putting this on like on a daily basis. It does wash off though in the shower. It's not one of those kind of uh, like tanners that you put on and then it like lasts a week kind of thing it just gives you an all-over body bronze like at that time like for the day before you go in and get wet and take a shower and stuff like that now we're gonna talk about hair stuff guys first up is this brush right here and this is a really really big boar bristle brush so why you want to use boar bristles is because it's going to help tame frizz and if you have curly naturally curly hair and you're trying to straighten it out this is going to be really really helpful for you because it smooths everything out and in my opinion i think you get the best most quickest straightest hair if you use a boar bristle brush versus any other kind of brush i can definitely show you guys how i like to use this brush Brush if you guys would like in a updated like hair styling routine type video and then lastly I have these two products here 
to share with you guys. This is the mousse I use. I mean, I almost have nothing left in here. Every time after I take a shower, I will put this only in the roots of my hair, like right on the top section of hair. And it just helps to give it a little bit more lift since I'm not a big fan of teasing. This is the Joyco Joy Whip Firm Hold Design Foam. I will put a link in the description box. Hopefully I can find it because I actually need another one. But I think I initially got this from um, TJ Maxx. Then another product I was using a lot last month for my hair is this. It's actually Orbe. It's a Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. So all you do is just spray this on the ends of your hair when it is like slightly damp still, right before you style it. And what it's gonna do is just add more shine to your hair. It also protects it from heat. I'm trying to have healthier overall healthier hair so I'm just I'm not dying it and this has just been a huge help in keeping my hair looking good during this little phase <laughs> that I'm going through all right guys so that is it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing what my monthly favorites are let me know what yours are down in the comments below and if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next one